this video is for Melinda, as you requested. Um, I just wanted to say I apologize for saying that your husband has a beautiful face. Uh, what I meant by that, well, I guess I meant what I said. I mean, all the children of Israel have beautiful faces. Um, <clears throat> but really, it's not about your face. It's about your spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, the Ruach of the Most High Living God, Ahaya Asha Ahaya. And everyone in our group has that spirit. And regardless of what your face looks like, it's a spirit that makes you a beautiful person. It has nothing to do with your face. You could be a burn victim and have your whole face covered in burns and unrecognizable as a human face. And if you have the Holy Spirit, you're still beautiful. Um, <clears throat> so that's the first thing to retract my statement. The second thing is I'm not trying or doing flirting with anybody's husband. I'm not flirting with anyone who's single. I'm not flirting with any of the crazy people who think that they want to marry me. <laughs> As I get this text, I'm in a theological debate, kind of a debate. <sighs> um, yeah, I'm not here to flirt with anyone. I'm not here looking for a relationship. I, I'm literally, I'm just here to serve the Most High God, Ahaya, Asha Ahaya, and to serve the children of Israel, which is the will of the Most High. And I already know, well, I don't know, but I already think that I'm probably not going to ever get married or be in any kind of relationship because I spent my whole two-week check on getting a generator, and I had $30 left for two weeks to buy food and to buy gas when I have to drive two hours a day to get to and from work. Um, and so I can't marry anyone and have them be my head, like my covering, as a husband is supposed to be for his wife, um, unless someone could agree to those crazy terms and conditions and want to live in an off-grid camp in the middle of the woods in Vermont and serve the children of Israel and the Most High God with everything they have in their being, in their heart, in their soul, and really, really, really love the Lord their God with all their mind and strength and soul and heart and everything that's in them. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know. I think that's, that's pretty much the gist of it. I'm not here to flirt with anyone. I'm not looking for a relationship. I don't flirt with single people because I have work to do. And um, that's what... Oh, yeah. I, I know what another point was. I don't talk to anybody without a witness. Like, very rarely does that happen. And that's like, if I'm in my car by myself and I get a phone call and I answer it, and the person on the other end doesn't have a witness with them. <clears throat> but generally, whoever I talk to, it's in a group text. So there's always other people in it, and it's always in writing. And if someone calls me, who's a man, whether they're single or not single, um, usually there's always someone around me, and I put the call on speakerphone. Or if I'm by myself, like usually, like if Jordan calls me, Christina's right there, and it's on speakerphone, so there's a witness. Um, and that's like basically a procedural thing in our group. Um... Yeah, I think everybody does that. It's not just me. It's everybody. So, yeah, that's all. Bye. Shalom!